In this lesson, we'll add a list of bookmarks to our app. We can start off by extracting the current scaffold into a separate widget called bookmarks page, which would display the list of bookmarks. Whenever you are unsure about the functionality of a widget, always create it as a stateless widget since it's easier to convert them to a stateful widget later on if needed. Once we paste the scaffold inside the bookmarks page widget, add a temporary background color to it and hot reload just to confirm that nothing broke. Next, let's start working on creating the actual list widget to be displayed. Let's call this the bookmarks list widget. This widget would take in a list of bookmarks as an argument. The list of bookmarks would be generated by the user. But for now, let's add a dummy list of bookmarks with two items. Let's use the Flutter and Google homepage as the first two bookmarks. The first argument here would be set as the title of the bookmark and the second argument would be set as the link of the bookmark. Now we can proceed to implement the bookmarks list widget using this dummy list. IntelliJ provides an easier way to create this widget using the shortcut menu. Simply press Alt plus Enter and choose the create class option. Then make it extend a stateless widget and override the build method. We are passing an argument to the constructor of this class, but we haven't defined the constructor. To quickly do that, use the shortcut menu again to let the IDE handle it for you. The widget for displaying a collection of items in a list is the list view widget. Similar to other widgets that can wrap a collection of items, the list view widget has a children argument. Using this, let's add a text widget for each of our bookmarks, which would display the title of the bookmark. Since bookmarks list is a list, we can access its items by specifying the index. We can use the list received in the constructor by initializing an instance variable using the this keyword as explained in the last lesson. Now, when we hot reload, we see that the two text widgets with the titles appear on the screen, arranged vertically as expected when using a list view widget. Next, let's also display the link of the bookmark below the title of the bookmark. We can do so by wrapping the title widget in a column widget and then adding a text widget for the link inside the column. Now as expected, the link appears below the title in the center of the column since the default cross axis alignment of a column is center. We can change this alignment to start instead of center so that they appear as desired. Since repeatedly writing the same code for each item in the bookmarks list doesn't scale, let's extract it and move it to a new widget called bookmark list item widget. This widget would take in a bookmark as its argument. Let's create this widget as a stateless widget for now and we can change it later to stateful if needed. Let's add the bookmark field that would be used within this widget and initialize it with the value of the bookmark received in the constructor's arguments. Now that we don't have any other errors in our code, let's perform a hot reload. We don't see any changes since we simply added a new widget which does nothing but avoids repetition of code. Let's make our list items look a little better by adding some space between the title and the link using a sized box widget. Next, 
let's use some predefined text themes as the style for our text widgets. Here we are using text theme dot title for the title text widget and text theme dot subhead for the link text widget. Our list items look slightly better now, but still they are touching the edge of the screen. Let's add some padding to fix that. Notice that this padding by default is added with the const keyword. The benefit of instantiating a widget as const instead of new is that in case of a rebuild due to a change in state or any other reason, when the build method is called again, all widgets declared as const won't be rebuilt because Flutter knows that these widgets are not dependent on a change in state. This may be a small performance improvement individually, but all these const widgets can add up in larger apps or apps where the view is rebuilt quite often and hence resulting in some significant performance improvements. Animations are a good example of the view being rebuilt multiple times and hence using const in this case can lead to improvements since it reduces the required work for the garbage collector. Next, let's use the most straightforward way to check that our list view actually scrolls when there are many items in the list. So let's duplicate the items in the bookmarks list first. Then let's duplicate the widgets in the list view and make sure that each of them uses the right index. Now our list view has 10 items, one for each one in the bookmarks list and it scrolls as expected. Let's undo this last change for now as we will be replacing this dummy list with an actual user generated list that would be created dynamically. This would come in in another lesson. Right now, all our widgets are in the main.dat file. A better way to organize them would be to move each widget to their own file. Let's start by moving the bookmark list item widget to its own dart file. Since this widget requires the bookmark class, we can import that in this file after importing material.dart as well. Repeat the same process for the bookmarks list widget as well. Now our lib package has the main.dart file, two widget files and a model class. This can get quite overwhelming to manage as the size of our project increases. Hence, let's create more packages here that clearly indicate their contents. Let's move both the widget files to a new package called widget. Similarly, we can move the bookmark model class to the model package. In our main.dart file, we have the bookmarks page widget apart from the parent my bookmarks app widget. It will be a lot better to just keep the my bookmarks app widget here and move the bookmarks page widget to its own file in a new package called page that would contain all widgets similar to the bookmarks page widget. Finally, let's fix the imports and remove the unused ones from the main.dart file. 